Hi, I'm Peter Parker. Tom Holland is a well-known actor who has captured the hearts of audiences with his portrayal of Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, he has also become an advocate for mental health and sobriety. In his recent interview, he opened up about his struggles with alcohol and his decision to get sober. He admitted that while he had always been a social drinker, he began to rely on alcohol to cope with the pressures of his profession and personal life. In another interview, Holland also discussed the impact that his sobriety has had on his mental health. He said that he has become much more focused and productive since quitting alcohol, and he now has a greater sense of clarity and purpose in his life. In his recently broadcast interview with Entertainment Weekly, he said that his work in the psychological thriller The Crowded Room has caused him to take a closer look at his own mental health. Tom Holland's upcoming miniseries called The Crowded Room is inspired by the story of Billy Milligan. The film, which also features Amanda Seyfried, Emmy Rossum and Sasha Lane, centers around Tom's character, Danny Sullivan, who is arrested after a shooting at Rockefeller in 1979. In his interview about his upcoming movie, the Spider-Man star stated that his work on the film had led him to examine his relationship with mental health, and as a result, he has been sober for a year and four months. According to his recent interview, it has been revealed that his work on the show has taught him about mental health. Holland also explained that he had conversations with psychiatrists about the struggles of his and Billy's characters, which have been informative for his own life. Tom Holland did not provide details about his journey to sobriety, but he mentioned in the interview that working on the crowded room has helped him recognize triggers and things that stress him out, including social media. He has previously talked about the need to take a step back from social media for his mental health. In a video posted to Instagram last summer, Tom revealed that he was taking a break from social media due to his mental health. He emphasized that seeking and asking for help is not something to be ashamed of, and that there is a stigma against mental health that needs to be addressed. In a tweet, he wrote, I'm here to tell anyone who needs to hear it that it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to talk about your feelings and it's okay to be vulnerable. We are all humans and we all need support sometimes. According to Tom, his decision to get sober was not an easy one, but it has been the best decision he has ever made. He credits his family and friends for their support during his journey to sobriety. Apart from providing him with a better understanding of his mental health, the crowded room has also allowed Tom Holland to explore a different type of role compared to his usual blockbuster films, such as Uncharted and the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Tom expressed his delight in playing Danny Sullivan in the early episodes of the show, as it allowed him to portray a character that was more vulnerable and less certain compared to his previous roles as Nathan Drake and Spider-Man. I've spent a long time playing characters that people can depend on, characters that feel really capable, and playing Danny allowed me to lean into my more vulnerable side, he said. Tom also shared about times during the filming of The Crowded Room, when he found it difficult to separate himself from the role. In the interview, Tom admitted that there were moments when he saw himself in Danny's character which affected him personally. He had a moment where he had a meltdown at home and thought of shaving his head as a way to rid himself of the character. I was seeing myself in him, but in my personal life, Tom admitted. I remember having a bit of a meltdown at home and thinking like, I'm going to shave my head. I need to shave my head because I need to get rid of this character. While we admire Tom Holland as an actor and producer, we also admire his dedication to sobriety and his work to bring awareness to the mental health crisis. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed our video, give it a like, subscribe and leave a comment below.